I think he, he's uh, trying to do his own vlog up there or something. I don't know. Graph paper notebook. I am getting ready to go out and see if I can find an ottoman. Hello vlog. I am going to share with you all the things that I plan to prep over the summer this year. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm about up smacking the wrong side of the camera. I'm literally ready to go to bed. Okay. What's up, friend? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I am Kira, and in this video, I'm taking you on Summer Vlog 3, where I'm gonna get all into classroom prep. So if you're ready for it, go ahead and keep on watching. Sorry if you hear some things in the background, I am outside. I wanted to start the vlog out here because it's just a really nice day today. Uh, if you are familiar with the South, I'm from Virginia. So here in the summers, it is like humid and nasty. And this summer I have been enjoying every single day that it, the humidity has been down and it has been nice. And today is one of those days. So I decided to go ahead and share my love for it by sitting on the porch and starting off the vlog. Today is Saturday, July the 22nd. And I, I just finished getting dressed and I uploaded footage from the last vlog. If you're familiar with this outfit, if you watched the last vlog, then you know. <laughs> I just ended that one and uploaded all the footage onto my computer. And so I will be editing that tonight and getting that up. So if you haven't watched that already, definitely make sure you go and do that. I'll leave it up in the cards for you. This bird is really chatting. I guess he wants to talk with me. <laughs> I think he he's uh, trying to do his own vlog up there or something. I don't know. So sorry if that bothers you. On the agenda today, I stripped my bed. I'm gonna be washing all my sheets. I need to go to Walmart to pick up some things like some new bed sheets. I realized that, you know, I'm still in my grown woman era and I want to be a little bit more minimal in the things that I have in my room. And one of the easiest things that I can start off with is getting rid of all the like colorful sheets and stuff like that. So I went ahead and, or I'm gonna go ahead and get some bed sheets and some other things that are on my list. I'll share with you what I get once I go and get all the things. But I also need to go to Office Max to get a cover for my planner. I like a hard cover. The regular laminated covers are just not enough, especially for the amount of things that I put in the planner. So I need a hard cover. And I figured I'd go with something like black or maybe something that goes with my planner. The only hardcover I have right now is like a really dark blue. Need that from Office Max. And then I need to stop at Michael's, the Michael's near me. I've been to two Michael's and they have either not had any of the clear scrapbook cases or they only had a few. I need to go to the Michael's by where I live to see if they have some of the clear scrapbook cases. I only need about three. I think if I need any more after the three that I found and the three that I possibly will get today, I can get those later in the school year whenever I need them. And so I'll just keep an eye for when they go out on sale again and get them later. But I think getting three more will be enough to start off with. Really, really, really trying to up my organization game this school year. That is my, one of my goals going into this school year. And so I'm trying my best to be more prepped and prepared. So I'm getting my centers and all that good stuff together. I'll share with you the list that I made of all the things that I like to get or that I would like to get prepped and ready. Some of the things I always do every single year. Some of the things I've added to the list this year, 
I'll share that with you soon. I'm competing with the birds a little bit too much out here. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up, go run my errands, and then I will come back and share with you all the things that I got. Thanks birds. Obsessed with my new cup. All right, before I go, let me show you the fit for today have on my necklace, my S necklace I always wear from Amazon. I have on this braided black watch band, also from Amazon. These bracelets I got as a gift from my mom. Earrings are hoops that I got in a set, I wanna say from Marshalls. Glasses are from where I get my eyes checked, Patterson Eye Clinic. <laughs> I got this shirt from Target. It's a crop top. Belt bag is from, I wanna say TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Actually, Amazon. I think I got the black one from Amazon. Then I have on these joggers from H&M. They are so comfy. Back up. I love that they have the scrunch at the end. I'm moving closer because I'm sure it's probably hard to hear when I'm all the way back there. And then for shoes, I have on my Crocs. That's the fit. was a bust at Michael's. I was not able to find any scrapbook cases there. It doesn't look like they have many in my area. So I guess I'm going to have to go ahead and not worry about that project anymore. I got as many bins as I can. And if I go to a different Michael's or I'm in a different area where there is a different Michael's, then I will check it out. But for now, I am no longer hunting for those scrapbook cases. <laughs> now, last stop will be Walmart to get the few things that I need to get from there. And then I'll get home. I got a big old haul for y'all, haul from today. And then a haul from my Amazon wish list. Thank you, thank you to all the people who have donated so far. But let me stop chatting. Let's get to Walmart and get home.
all right just got home i'm gonna chat in the car because my parents are inside and i know it's gonna be loud and distractions when it's nice and quiet in here so i'll go ahead and talk but finished all my errands got everything that i needed the only thing on my list that i wasn't able to find in walmart that i wanted to get was some hangers but that's okay because i typically get my hangers from tj maxx or marshall's or like burlington or something like that because you can get like a big bulk set of the felt thin hangers that i really really like so it's cool that i didn't find that found everything else i will share what i got once i get inside but i'm gonna take everything inside and take those three clear scrapbook cases that i got i'm gonna take those inside as well i'm gonna start clearing out my car all of those boxes and things that I got from Ikea, all of those are going to go to the storage unit tomorrow. Dara's going to help me do that. So I got to get my car <laughs> clear. And uh, yeah, so I'm not going to be going. I said that I was going to be doing some projects or start on some school stuff once I got in the house. But Dara texted me while I was out and about running my errands and wants me to come hang out with her she is house sitting this weekend for one of our admin actually and so she wants me to come and hang out with her for a little bit because she is bored so i'm gonna go over there we're gonna have dinner together depending on how i feel i might come home and still do some things but we shall see other than that yeah let's go ahead and get in this house <laughs> Ooh, a little warm in this room. So we are definitely gonna make this portion of the video quick. Hopefully the glare isn't like too extremely bad. I'm using my new like light. Also, I hope that I am projecting enough so that you can hear. I notice like when I am a little bit further away from the camera, the volume is low. Hopefully those that are watching, you can hear me well. So let's go ahead and get into this little Walmart haul or I guess my little shopping trip haul. So I did mention that I went to Office Max first. It's like Office Max Home Depot, but I went to Office Max and let me share with you what I got from there first. Tool, mechanical pencils, graph paper notebook, lined paper, so I can add that to the back of my planner. This planner here, I know you're like, why did you get another planner? I got it because I wanted this leather cover. I'm gonna take this cover off and put it on my teacher planner. Okay, so that is everything that I grabbed from Office Max. Now we're gonna move over to Walmart. Like I mentioned earlier, Michaels did not have any of the bins that I wanted. So I got nothing from Michaels, went in, walked straight back out. <laughs> so now let me share what I got from Walmart. This big pack of 500 sheets of printer paper. So they put it on clearance. So I went ahead and grabbed it because it was on clearance. So I got some cardstock and I got 25 of these black pocket folders very simple they're just paper i think they were 38 cents a piece but when i want to say when she rung them up they came they rang up for 15 cents a piece next i grabbed some sticker paper and then the last thing that i picked up from walmart i got two packs they only had two packs i went ahead and picked up two packs of the 20 count five mil thickness laminating pouches all right, that is everything that I picked up on my little shopping trip. Hope that you enjoyed that little haul. All that means is now we're gonna get the ground running on all the school projects because I feel like I have the paper, the stickers, all the good things to get all my projects started and ready to roll. Hey, hey, it is the next day from the last clip no it's been a couple of days <laughs> it's been a couple of days and i am getting ready to go out and see if i can find an ottoman i've decided that i'm going to do an ottoman for my whole group area i was going to try to get like a comfy chair because i've been using a stool 
that's uh, Alex, my um, team teacher. She had a stool that happened to wander into my room. <laughs> Uh, at the beginning of the school year last year and I just been using it for my whole group chair and it's pretty hard and so I need something a little softer on the behind <laughs> so I am gonna go and look for ottoman instead of like a comfy chair I feel like a chair will take up more space and I'm trying to like minimize <laughs> the furniture and the things that I have in my classroom and I think ottoman might work Plus, it'll be extra storage. So, I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx, Home Goods, and possibly Marshalls to see if they have an ottoman. Whoever has one that I like first, that's what I'm gonna grab. I'm also gonna try Target as well because I know that Maylene from Mrs. Calls Campers got her ottoman from target and it's nice i mean it's been a long time since she's gotten it from there but i'm sure they have like different variations and things like that so that's what i'm gonna go do now and then after that i'm gonna hang out with michelle and dara dara's getting some school work done and me and michelle are gonna work on some things for our classroom and lesson plan kind of stuff for the upcoming school year so let's go ahead and get out I'm not going to be chatting. <laughs> this is not going to be a six hour intro. <laughs> Let's go. So far, I saw something in TJ Maxx, but hold on. I went to TJ Maxx, didn't see an ottoman, but I did see a chair that was cute, but that was kind of pricey. I'm trying to stay under 150 and that was 180. Then I went to Michael's and I found, I found two of the scrapbook cases, remember in a previous vlog. I think or maybe in this vlog I said that I needed three more and all the Michaels did not have any and so I was like well since I'm out here in this different area let's just check and they had two clear ones so yay so got those exchanged my black tray that had a crack in it and then went to Target. They had this cute little white fuzzy chair, but they didn't have any Ottomans. They had a lot of Ottomans, but they weren't really like nice and fluffy and cute like I'm looking for. So next stop I think is Home Goods. Let's get going. Anywho, just pulled up at Michelle's, so getting ready to go in there. But that shopping trip was a bust. Didn't find anything. I think this is them calling me now. Okay, let me go. She's calling me. Hello, vlog. 
Why does her cup match her? It shirt does. Perfectly. Very perfectly. And her surroundings. <laughs> And it is crazy in this parking lot, man. They're gonna hit us. It is the next day and I wanted to pick up the camera. I've been pretty productive today so far, so I wanted to share. Sorry if you hear all the sounds of nature in the background. I do have my window open. It is freezing in my house. And so I have the window open to bring in some warm breeze, but yes wanted to hop on and share some things with you so let's get into it so what you've been seeing so far in this video you saw me go out and get some planner accessories i loved everything that i got from office max i actually just finished putting together this teacher planner so everything is set up and ready to go for teacher work week when I you know add all the things but I did film me putting this together so if you're interested in seeing what kind of planner I have or what the planner looks like in its final stages definitely check me out on Instagram I put a reel up about it or and also check the previous video on my channel i'll probably leave it on in the cards for you but i did film a planner video for you showing you what planner i got and all that good stuff so if you're interested in like all the details of my planner definitely go check out instagram and my last video but i just finished putting it together and i love it it looks so nice i'm so excited to get into it so in the next couple of weeks i'll really be writing in it and all that good stuff but and I also like went through my budget and did my budget. I also looked at looked at my life planner and planned out some social media things. So we have been doing all the planner things this morning and it has actually been great. Airplane is going over. All right, so next I am going to do some laundry because you do not want to see that big old pile of laundry over there i might try to put a glimpse of it on the screen for you but ooh, it is a big 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 huge pile of laundry so i'm going to start on the laundry and then i am going to edit the planner video that i just mentioned to you i'm going to edit that so it can be up on my channel and then the last thing i plan to do tonight is do some center prep but before i get started i wanted to share with you all of the things that i'm going to be prepping this summer because i did mention that i was going to share that at the beginning i have been doing lots of prep i've made some things and i've uh, purchased some things from off of tpt i've started printing some things so i am going to share with you all the things that i plan to prep over the summer this year i made a list but i will go ahead and pop everything here on the screen for you the first thing that i like to prep over the summer is my teacher planner which you just saw so i have done that i've completed that i printed out my district calendar put it all put all the important dates in there and all that good stuff i have to do some fine tuning but you know the initial setup of the planner is now complete. The next thing that I like to do is get all my centers prepped for if not the if not only the first 6 months for the entire school year. Next, I like to 
create my classroom labels that kind of goes along with creating my classroom layout and doing a map of it and so i like to get graph paper map out my layout and then go through each wall and figure out what i want on the wall as far as decor and all of that good stuff then i like to look at the schedule because typically by the time i get through all of that stuff we have the schedule the schedule came out really really early this year so we actually already have our schedule for this year and it's fabulous i'm so excited for it after i go through the schedule i look through and think about all the procedures that i want to make sure i hit especially in kindergarten the first few weeks of school i'm literally going over routines and procedures and so i like to just have a big list of all the procedures i want to go over will i get through everything absolutely not but I always like to write a list to have a goal of the things that I want to accomplish and the procedures that I want to make sure I teach my students throughout the year. The last thing that I like to prep and get ready once the classroom is set up and all of that uh, and all those other things are complete, the last thing I like to do is get all the things ready for open house. So uh, on my list, I do have first and second week of school plans but I typically don't think about the first and second week of school until actual teacher work week. So that is what summer prep looks like for me. Definitely let me know down in the description box below or in the comments below what you are prepping this year. Are you doing a whole new classroom theme? I'm not doing a new classroom theme but I am switching up my labels to fit my classroom theme a little bit more. I kind of gotten over the years a lot of like Mitch match and like a hodgepodge of different resources from different teachers and things like that. And so I'm trying to hone in on the resources that I'm using and making sure they fit the color scheme that I am going for. And so I have been doing that and that is like on the list of things to prep. So. We are ready to go. Summer prep is about to be in full swing. Today is the 29th of July, I believe. You know, we we lose the days and the dates <laughs> in, during the summer, but today is July 29th and Monday is July 31st. Monday, July 31st is when I will really, really hit the ground running and doing lots and lots and lots of prep. Uh, like I mentioned before, I'm gonna start laundry, edit a video, but let's go ahead and get into it. day last night I was able to get a lot of my laundry done I just have to fold I have a basket right there so I need to fold those but I was able to wash a few loads and then I was able to edit and upload my planner video so definitely make sure you go check that out I sorry my windows open I uh, went ahead in that video and explained the planner that I'm using this year and walk through what that looks like and then I also shared how I switch out the rings for I keep on calling them rings but they are definitely discs <laughs> I switch out the discs when um because sometimes those kind of disc bound planners come with plastic discs and I like the metal ones they just the paper moves on those discs a lot smoother. So 
show you i show you all of that in the video so definitely definitely show me some love and make sure you check that out i did not get to any center <laughs> prep or any like summer classroom project things because after i edited the video i was absolutely tired after doing all that laundry and um editing the video and i was doing other things throughout the day yesterday too so i was just tired plus uh the cycle is coming so that means my body is aching and things like that so i'm just in a mood and bleh, i hate this time of the month with that being said today is the next day and i just finished planning in my planner this planner is from Callie danielle it is not my teacher planner it's like my life planner so i put my doctor's appointments in here social media things i put in here this is like life stuff and then in my other planner only teacher things go in there some t teacher stuff trickle into this life planner like i have training on the first and i have that in here but not a lot of things from school trickle into this life planner so on sundays i like to look at all my planners i also have a budget planner and plan everything out i've gotten out of that routine for a while so i don't want to pretend like i do this every single week i've gotten out of that routine but i want to start that routine off going into the new school year i want to set some routines in stone and so one of them is on sunday planning out my week at least the things that i know that are coming up did that now i have been like thinking all the things in teacher mode and all that good stuff and I've been thinking about my table caddy situations like what the kids will use on the tables and I absolutely loved when my tables were clear last year the kids had absolutely nothing on the table the only thing that was on the table in the middle was the kagan mat that we were required to have on the tables but other than that nothing was on the table if we needed something the kids went and got it we always start off on the carpet and then i send them to their table to do an activity so when i tell them to leave that the carpet I tell them to go get whatever supply they need and then they go to their seat and that was great it eliminated a lot of distractions if I wanted to, them to like sit in their seat and me do an activity they would pay attention to me more instead of like fidgeting and playing with their pencil boxes and name tags I didn't have to worry about those peeling up because that absolutely irritated me <laughs> when the kids would just peel up their name tags throughout the year and things like that. So I think I'm going to do that again this year. I want to go to Walmart and grab some of the book boxes. Actually, I will take you into the room and show you these book boxes. They fit in the cubbies perfectly. So I have... 20 of these in black those are going to go in the student cubbies and they'll it'll house all of their like supplies and things like that and i want to get four more but i want to get four in the periwinkle color that they have at walmart and i want to use those for like table caddies <laughs> so anytime i need the kids anytime i need like the table groups to have supplies and things like that i'll put it in that bin and then i'll have the table captain go and grab the bin and then that way the whole table will have the supplies that they need for the activity that we're doing i like that idea a lot better than actual table caddies i think that that's what I'm going to do, so I'm going to Walmart and do that. And then I also need to go to Dollar Tree. It looks like this vlog is turning into more so of a shopping vlog than <laughs> prepping for the classroom. Let me stop talking. Been talking for 10 minutes now. Let's go to Walmart and Dollar Tree. say we were very very successful in Dollar Tree and in Walmart 
went to Dollar Tree and found the beautifulest colors. I've been seeing the colors on like Instagram and stuff, but I totally forgot about it because like I said, I don't really need a lot of bins. I'm just replacing like old ones that I've had for a super long time, cracked, broken ones, things like that. But when I went in there, I saw the boxes that I like to use for stem bins or morning tubs, indoor recess, whatever you'd like to call it. And I wanna make indoor recess more kinda individual or give them more choice when it comes to indoor recess. And so I like these little bins from Dollar Tree and I saw them and they were in my color scheme. So I got four in each color. And then I found the snack containers that I like to use for my Roarbucks and they had it in white, white. So I was like, oh my gosh, I need to see that I found 12 of them. So I'm gonna go to another Dollar Tree and see if I can find 12 more. I'm so excited for the white because normally they always have colors and luckily the colors typically go with my classroom. Like I've had dark blue. The when I first like started, I was doing rainbow. So they had like, of course, all the pinks and greens and those kind of colors. But of course I'm moving to more muted, soft blues, purples. And so I'm excited. They do have this really pretty like muted bluish purple kind of color right now. And they have them in the snack container. So if I don't find three of the white, hopefully I can find three of that color and I will accept that. But. Let's go look for that and then I will chat once we get home. Okay, so that Dollar Tree was a bust. There's one more on my way home that I can stop at. So I'm gonna stop there and then I'm gonna stop the hunt for today. And then I will probably check another Dollar Tree on Monday, no, Tuesday. On Tuesday I have training. So I will go to the Dollar Tree near where we're gonna be having training at. So let's try this Dollar Tree and get home because Whew, it is hot out here. The heat is no joke. Hey there. So it is quite a while later since the last time you saw me, but I wanted to hop on. I'm getting ready to go to bed. As you can see, I am like so tired. August the 7th is when I'd like to go into the classroom to start setting up. That whole week I'll be going in from like 8 in the morning until like 4 or 5 in the afternoon. Getting everything ready, getting everything done because by that Friday I want to be completely done with my classroom. And then the week of the 14th, which is when I'm contracted to be back, I want to work on all the things for the first and second week of school. So that is the plan so far. That's the summer prep ideas that I have or the things that are planned to prep over the summer. So if you wanna see any of that, then definitely make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss out on any videos that I post. If you haven't already, definitely check me out over on Instagram. I post over there daily. Yep, pretty much daily. And without further ado, I will, I, I've been saying that I think throughout the whole video. But with that being said, I will see you in the next video. I am ready to go to bed. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I'm smacking the wrong side of the camera. I'm literally ready to go to bed. Okay, let's try this again. Bye.